Mr. Nijlingappa, what are the main issues that have brought the Congress Party to the present crisis that threatens to split the organization? You see, it is an unfortunate thing that has happened. It looks as though we are going to split. When you go deeper into the entire thing, I think it is more a question of psychology of a few individuals at the top than that there are any particular differences, either of ideology or of socialist philosophy. All of us are agreed on the decisions we have been taking since a long time, quite a long time, when the Congress has been laying out policies of social development, economic development, and how to make the life of the ordinary citizen fuller and richer. But today, we all of us accept this. It is a question of how best to throw the blame on others that they are not doing it. That is how I find the present situation. Do you think there is any chance of both sides making a compromise so that there will be unity in the party? Well, I very earnestly, sincerely and honestly want that unity. I am trying for it. Unfortunately, it looks as though it may not happen just now. But I have not given up hope nor my attempts to bring about unity. And there are some people, I may tell you, some friends um, who want to bring about that understanding and more friendship and uh, unity. I hope we may in the end succeed. I am also making some efforts in that direction. I hope I will succeed. As you know, hope springs eternal in the human breast.